Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Grace Jacobson. Thanks for tuning in to this week's broadcast. Even though the time for fall sports has already passed, the football season must go on. The varsity football team plays their first game on March 5th. There are other sports that we're just starting up as well. Travis Haight reports more on these upcoming seasons. Sports are just around the corner with Governor Sisolak giving the thumbs up on approving sports this spring. Schools like Faith and Gorman are preparing for up and coming spring sports seasons. How do you feel of sports returning to Faith this spring? I feel like it was needed and I'm very excited for it to be happening. Uh, I feel pretty good about it. Um, it's nice to be able to go out and do something for once and not just be stuck at home anymore. I'm really, I'm really excited actually. Have you been preparing for the possibility of sports returning? If so, how? Um, I have been, and my team has been too. We've had about an 11th month off season, and so we've been ready for almost a year now. Uh, yeah, both football and basketball have been doing practices since the summer. Um, we've, done, we've tried to keep within the protocols, but um, we've still done a lot. We've installed a lot of our offense and done stuff in both sports. Yeah, we've definitely been preparing for the possibility of the sports returning. We were doing um, Monday practices, and it was pretty fun. Do you think it's too soon to start playing sports? I don't feel that it's too soon to start playing sports, and I feel like we should have started a long time ago. Uh, no, I actually think it's too late. Every other state has successfully and safely done all of their sports and been able to do everything, so I think our governor was a little late on that. I feel like some sports should be able to play and some shouldn't. Like close contact sports like wrestling maybe should not be able to play, but football and soccer 100%. Although sports have been cleared, only schools under the NIAA have been cleared to play. Some sports like football will begin March 5th, though teams will have a COVID test every week according to Governor Sisolak. The sports teams that are playing this spring are football, soccer, baseball, and others. How will Faith Athletics approach the recent news that sports will be allowed this spring? Uh, I think we're going to approach it like we have the past year, you know, with, with a little bit of caution, but we're going to... You know, we're going to do it to the best of our abilities. Our goal is to get kids out playing sports in a safe manner uh, to where they can continue to compete or start to compete again, uh, but do it under guidelines that are going to keep them safe. So, you know, we're, we're going to continue doing what we've been doing uh, and hopefully amp it up a little bit, you know, with the right precautions in place. Although it might be a short season for the sports this year in the spring, at least they'll have the chance to play. I'm Travis from the FLNN. Back to you. Thank you, Travis. To go along with the previous story, Gio Giganti gives the volleyball girls a special feature to talk about their upcoming season as well. Hi, I'm Gio from the FLN News, and I'm here to interview the volleyball team about the new season starting. How do you feel about the volleyball season starting? Um, I'm really excited. I wish it could have been in the fall, like normal, but I'm so glad we get to play. I'm excited, but also scared at the same time because it's like there's a higher chance of us having COVID like interaction. But it's exciting because we like, actually get to play and stuff. How will COVID impact the volleyball season? Um, we'll be impacted by not having as long of a season and having to overlap with club seasons and also not be able to play as many other schools because they're not allowing to have a season. Also the mask, but it's not that big of a deal. What safety precautions are you guys taking in the season? Well, we're taking uh, temperatures uh, when the athletes come into the gym, especially option two students, and we do have a couple option two students. Uh, we're also requiring the athletes to uh, hand sanitize when they come in the gym, and then also when we stop practices and or stop the practice and they go get a drink, uh, they have to hand sanitize when they come back into that. And we're also sanitizing uh, the balls uh, at the end of every practice, you know, to make sure that those are clean for the next group that comes in. Be sure to check your emails for upcoming games. I'm Gio from the FLNN News, signing out. Thanks, Gio. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a Faith Lutheran theater teacher? Well, here's Kate Marin with a spotlight on the very special Mr. Ball. So I like to think that every day that I'm working at Faith, not only am I um, teaching and directing, but I'm also a student myself, as I have just as much to learn from the students as they have to learn from me. Hi, I'm Kate Marin from the FLNN. I'm outside the drama room where theater teacher Mr. Ball teaches most of his classes. Mr. Ball is an amazing teacher and director who is a major part of the theater program here at Faith. Let's see him in action. Mr. Ball is the head of the theatrical arts in the Faith Conservatory of the Fine Arts. He directs the high school spotlight production in the fall and the high school main stage production in the spring. He 
also teaches many fine arts classes, including musical theater and drama. What is the best thing about Mr. Ball? The best thing about Mr. Ball is how kind he is to everyone and how he's so easy to walk up to and ask a question if needed. So, Mr. Ball's best trait definitely has to be his passion for theater. I really respect and appreciate how much effort he puts into the shows and how much he cares for the kids and what we actually do in the shows. What inspired you to come teach high school theater here at Faith? Well, actually, um, I was pursuing um, performance and acting uh, for the longest time until I took a job directing for a high school and for some reason that particular job um, wasn't a job so much as it was um, an opportunity for me to help students find um, you know uh, you know what talents they had and how they could use them for a greater good and for some reason that was extraordinarily fulfilling um, to me and I thought to myself, because I, I was a good student, but I wasn't a great student in high school myself, I thought maybe um, this is the Holy Spirit working through me um, so that I can be a, um, um, a different type of teacher and director. Mr. Ball is an amazing teacher, but an even better role model. He constantly inspires and nurtures his students to be the best they can be in anything they do. From FLNN, I'm Kate Marin signing off. Awesome story, Kate. Speaking of our theater department, our middle school theater program is having their play Frozen this weekend. Go check it out. The Battle of the Grades Powder Puff game was recently changed from March 5th to March 6th at 9 a.m. And don't forget to watch our weekly announcements for some more Faith Lutheran information. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'm Grace Jacobson. God bless.